My name is Iper and the topic for today's video is the attack boat and how I think that you can survive longer in a attack boat since uh, with the naval strike DLC the attack boat is basically a big part of each and every game mode so um, yeah that's why I decided to do a video like this. Now let's dive straight into my loadout that I prefer to use on my attack boat. Um, as the primary weapons I like to use the 25mm cannons, it just gives me a, a little bit more ammo than the heavier ones such as the 30mm cannons and I feel like that I do better when I've got that little bit of extra ammo. So that's why I prefer to use the 25mm cannons. Now as for the secondary weapons I like using the Zuni rockets and I know I, I don't see a lot of people using these but trust me they are so powerful and they're extremely useful. Now the Zuni rockets are basically the same rockets that a attack helicopter uses but then of course on a attack boat. Now when I'm facing an enemy attack boat and we both have 100% health and we start firing at the same time then I can switch back from the 25 to the Zuni and that way I can take out another attack boat really quickly. Now the downside of this loadout is that you don't really have anything to use against air vehicles. Sure you can use the 25mm cannons to take down enemy air vehicles but it takes a couple of shots and it's not really effective so that is one downside of this loadout. Now that we've got this out of the way let's move on to the tips on how to survive longer in the attack boat. Now the first tip that I have is using third person mode. I know it sounds stupid but really it's something that is so extremely powerful. I, I'd say it's even powerful than the tools that you can put on your attack boat. Uh, the third person mode allows you to scan the area, look around and have a good look on where you should be going and what's going on around you. Now the example that's coming up the screen right now uh, really shows how powerful the third person mode is. I see the guy on the minimap, I know that he's there, but because of those rocks are in the way then I can't see him. So I switch to third person mode, I see that he's next to the building and I, then I can start firing and I kill him with my splash damage. And I wouldn't know that he was there without checking in third person mode. So really third person mode is so useful and I really recommend that you use it all the time. Now the other tip that I have for you is don't be aggressive. Now I know that's very tempting to just go to the enemies and try to kill all of them. But that is just not how this attack boat is working. Now if you remember at the beginning of Battlefield, then the, attack, the armor of the attack boat was really strong. And it was really hard to take down. Uh, it took quite a couple of RPGs to take down the attack boat. Uh, but now the attack boat, the armor of the attack boat is really weak. You just, a couple of RPGs can take you out. You're extremely vulnerable in a attack boat. So I really need you to be not aggressive and don't push up because if you're gonna get shot by like two RPGs then it's over for you and it's really hard to recover from that. Now another thing is using your cover to your advantage. In the naval strike maps you've got all these little rocks all over the place that you can use to block enemy incoming missiles and that can really save you on the battlefield. Now in the next upcoming clip you can see me using the tips of not being aggressive and using your cover. Now as you can see I'm facing the enemy attack boat and I'm on pretty low health. So what I'm gonna do is retreat and use that rock there uh, to, as my cover. So I can get a little bit of my health back and reload my ammo. So as you can see I only won that gunfight because I retreated and used my cover to my advantage. Because else I would not really have won that fight. So um, yeah guys that were all the tips that I have for you guys today, if you enjoyed it then please hit like, if you're new around to feel free to subscribe, oh and before I forget, there's a link in the description where you can buy a really cheap PC games and also support my channel, so if you feel like buying a PC game then I've got there a link for you. But um, yeah, this was Hyper, and as always, thanks for watching.